What's up, everybody? We are here back for episode seven of Switching Lanes with Chase Lane. I am with my guy, Kyle Eford. How you doing, man? Yo, man, chilling, man. Yes, Excited sir. to be here. So, you know, we're sitting here, we're in the team room. I feel like the setting is very fitting for the kind of person you are on a day in and day out basis. You're the epitome of what hard work is. You know, you come in, you go to work, you put your head down, you stay quiet, you stay consistent. So what has the process of growth looked like for you during your time here at Georgia Tech? When I got here, I realized that, you know, everyone here is good, bro. Everyone mm -hmm. here is really can be great. So I realized that the, the biggest difference is going to be in the headspace, the mentality. So, I mean, I took a step back and I just, Told myself, you know, what is it going to take to set myself apart still, right. you know, at this next level. Everything changed for me when I changed my definition of hard work. So, so before actually it was like comparing yourself to others, like I'm outworking them, so I'm working hard. That's not what it is. Like hard work is like pushing yourself beyond limits. Right. When I really figured out, it was like I wanted to empty the tank on every little, every single rep. That's when it changed for me and I found new limits for myself. You know, you went from a guy who was just itching to get playing time, whether it was defense, special teams, just finding a way to get on the field. Now you're a guy who's a respectable leader, not only on the defense, but the entire team. So a complete 180. How has the transition been for you? And do you have a sense of pride with the role that you have now? Sense of pride, of course. That's really what football is about to me. Like, like if you don't take pride in your team, I mean, what, what is the point? Facts. But I mean, regardless of transition, I went smoothly because it's what I expected for myself. Like, I, I wouldn't settle for anything less, and I'm, and I'm still not settling. I would say that this team is composed of guys who genuinely love playing together. You know, I've never seen that before in, in all the years I've been playing college football. You know, the, the friendships, the, the brotherhoods that we have made here, and, and the guys that we have in this locker room. So I know DJ Moore is your guy. So just talk about how that relationship has transformed over the years and how it's grown over the years. I mean, me and DJ have been playing football, bro, since we're with each other since, you know, GFL, like part ball. So. Yeah. Like when we got here, it was just automatically like, all right, that's gonna be my roommate, obviously. You feel yeah. me? So, and I, when I tell you this, like me and him together, like we push each other. I found somebody who has my, has the same morals as me, like the same drive. We'll, we'll be in bed 10:30, like, bro, hit me up. Yo, like, do I have the running back on so and so? This yeah. like, this football uh -huh. stuff, bro. Uh -huh. Middle of the night, like, <laughs> real, real football guys, yeah. real football guys. <laughs> yeah. Like now, DJ, he's playing defense. You know, he's playing safety. So, how has it been, you know, like, having your brother on the same side as the ball as you? Bro, it's 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 kind of a crazy feeling, like, because we like we talked about it. We almost manifested, like, we've been talking about it for a minute now. Like, even when he was playing receiver, like, I was trying to tell him, like, bro, you on the wrong side, man. <laughs> you got you got to come with us, bro. Like, the dark side. You feel the me? Dark and side. It's, and it's it's really just a mentality, bro. And like this, I can tell you just like, just looking back sometimes, I'll see him just like, like communicating yada, yada, yada. Yeah. I'll just be like, uh, double take, like, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> like, you feel me? Talk a little bit about your family. Um, your older brother, Joe, he plays soccer in Europe. Yep. So how cool has it been seeing your brother like accomplish his dreams? You know, him and my dad, they taught me work. Okay. You feel me? Like he's, he's, he's working every day, you know, two times a day. So like he actually moved off to England uh, his junior year in high school. Wow. He was 17, finished it online. And like from there, it's just like skipping around like England, Romania, Spain. He played professional soccer overseas for over a decade. You seem like you're a guy who just harps on the, the importance of hard work. You said you learned the concept of hard work from your dad and from your brother. So was it just ingrained in you guys at an early age? My dad is, my dad was a worker, you feel me? Like he was blue collar man, like he, he worked landscape. Like when I was young, like I thought we were well off. Yeah. Like, you know, I thought we were, I thought we were comfortable with like, as I got older, I'm like, okay, like I see now, like he was just going to work, yeah. like going to straight work. I, I don't know anything else but, mm -hmm. but work. Like Backtrack to spring, you know, we have a new defensive coordinator come in, Coach Santucci, mm -hmm. who also works with the linebackers. How has it been learning his new defensive scheme and um, what can our fans expect to see from the defense this upcoming season? Oh yeah, Coach Santucci, is a, he's a teacher, you feel me? And, and his defense is the real deal. I, I ain't trying to spoil it for y'all, but just know it's the real deal, you feel me? We just gotta lock it in, just continue to just take a step every single day, <laughs> well, we gonna be right. Fine. And you know, it's, it's hard going against these du these dudes every day in practice, so. <laughs> Who you telling, yeah. bro? <laughs> so fall, fall camp me? should definitely be a movie. Fall camp should definitely be a movie. So I usually like to ask this last question for all my guests. You know, year three in the horizon for you, had a very successful year two. What does a successful year three look like for Kali Fruit? I don't set too many goals for myself, really, because I just like to, I just like to play it, bro. Like. I just like to leave it out on the field and you know whatever comes comes right. you know it's, it's all it's all in God's plan for me but I want to I want to win the ACC and I want to get I want to get them that team down the road. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we, that, we, that, we won't even name them. That's a big yeah. one but you know like 
individual. I don't. I don't have too many individual goals, bro. Like, is there, is there a reason for that? Just the team, bro. I mean, that's what. I don't. I don't want to set too many individual goals because at that point, I feel kind of selfish about it. Like, my goals are to do my part and make sure the team is in the position mm -hmm. to, you know, to make these plays. All right. You know? I wasn't able to be a part of the team when you first got here. Just from all the stories I've heard, I feel like you're the definition of consistency. You know, just always showing up for guys, always showing up for yourself and, you know, the ultimate team guy. So I'm really looking forward to see what we do with the team, but I'm more, more, more excited to see what you do individually. So I appreciate that. this has been episode seven of Switching Lanes with Chase Lane. This is Kyle Eford and we're out. Yo, yo.